Maine continues to try to find ways to deal with the opioid epidemic. At the same time, some treatment programs have been cut back and several recovery centers have closed. But in Portland, one center is not only going strong, it's expanding. This right here will be the nursing station. Contractors are almost ready to go for an expansion project for the Liberty Bay Recovery Center in Portland, looking to help deal with an ever-expanding crisis. The opiate epidemic, uh, as you know, is, is in uh, absolutely in crisis mode. Uh, now we're expanding because the need is there. The director of Liberty Bay says it's adding more residential beds to help addicts recover, starting with in-house detoxification. It's not comfortable. That's why the only solution for an opiate addict when they're detoxing is to get more heroin. That's what's going to make them feel better. And so when they're in an environment like this, um, we take them, we take everything away: their phones, laptops. Uh, we really just have them interact with their peers here and then we give them the medical supervision that they need. The program expansion will allow more people to go from detox to a 90-day residential treatment program and then a six-month sober living program for graduates. It's that long-term recovery that Liberty Bay uses to measure success. And what we've come up with is 19%. 19% of the people that um, you know finish our 90-day our, our program get a year or more of sobriety. Nate knows something about second chances. He got one himself. How it started was in high school, drinking, um, smoking pot, marijuana, uh, graduated high school, eventually um, graduated to crystal meth. After being arrested several times, Surmel was ordered by the court to a halfway house. He says it saved his life. I'm glad God intervened when he did, because um, literally I didn't choose recovery. I was arrested. And I cho what I chose was when things got bad enough, um, in, you know, in my early times that I asked for help. Now he is offering help and grateful for the support that is allowing the program to expand because he knows the power of recovery. Going from a hopeless, you know, drug addict, 110 pounds in a jail cell, detoxing to owning a treatment center with a beautiful son and wife um, and an amazing team of people that have helped almost 200 people. I mean, that's the gift of recovery. You know, not, not for me, but for the people we've touched. It's been um, pretty amazing. The treatment program at Liberty Bay is covered by most insurance, although some financial scholarships are available. The center hopes to hold a grand opening for its new 19-bed detox and residential addition next month.